Hey my little brush flies, welcome back to my channel Brushafly MUA if you've been here before, if you've not been here before and you're new. Hi, my name is Mercedes, I'm the face behind Brushafly MUA and you know, if you enjoy it here, why not hit that subscribe button so you're notified of when I upload and you know, nice to meet you, hope you're all doing good. So today's video is a bit of a fun one, I hope, because I have something from Revolution, like a little gift set that I ordered myself when it was in their like January sales and I still haven't used it yet. It's been sitting on my side and I'm like, I really need to get around to using it. But that's not it. I'm actually giving away the gift set as well. So I ordered two because they were such a good deal. I think they were like £4.80 each. And I thought, do you know what? It would be a really nice thing to be able to order one for myself and order one for a giveaway. So there's gonna be a giveaway, but you'll have to wait until later on in the video for details on that, because I'm going to test out my one first, see how I get on, see if I like it. I'm hoping I do, because if I don't and I give away one, it'll be a bit weird, but you know, it's cool. It's got three items in there. It's got an eyeshadow palette, a lip gloss and a highlighter so you know it's a really nice cool little gift set i think they still have some of these on the revolution website so if you have any like birthdays or you have a friend that is trying to build up their collection or a daughter or someone this might be a cute little addition to their makeup family so i'm gonna dive right in show you what's in here swatch it on my arm and then apply it to my face. So I've already done sort of like base makeup. I've done foundation, concealer, blush, bronzer. I haven't done highlight and I haven't done my eyes and I haven't done my lips. Obviously, you can see that by the state of me. And how rude, Mr. Helicopter, that you have to fly over my house right now. Rude. So let's have a look inside. So the first thing is this. So I didn't actually tell you the name of it, did I? It's the Makeup Obsession Vibing Collection, like vibing. And so yeah, it's not technically revolution, but it kind of is because it's like one of their sister brands. I don't know why, like today I feel like crazy. And so this video might be a bit crazy and not necessarily in a very good order, but yeah. Here is the lip gloss. It's pink with sort of like gold speckles in, and it does say lip topper on there, but you know, I'd call that a lip gloss. So let's just swatch that on my hand. So yeah, it's kind of quite a clear lip gloss with a hint of pink and some gold sparkles in. So I'm quite excited to try that, but I'm not going to put it on just yet. I'm going to do my eyes first. I always feel a bit odd if I do lipstick and then eyes. I'm kind of like, no, it's in the wrong order. I, yeah, brain can't cope. And the helicopter's back, how rude. Although they're probably looking for someone, we quite often, <laughs> it's gonna sound really great, but we quite often get like police helicopters fly over. We live quite close to like the police station central place. So quite often when they're looking for people, they fly over my house. So the next item you get is the Makeup Obsession Highlighter. It doesn't have a name, it just says highlighter it looks really cute maybe like I want to say like gold with a hint of rose gold in it but I'm not 100% sure that's the correct term for it but let's just give it a swatch oh wow okay hello that is quite stunning okay so I'm looking forward to applying that and lastly we have the vibing eyeshadow palette so it has a really nice mirror and it has nine shades so it is quite a cool toned grungy sort of smoky looking palette but I absolutely adore the packaging like the silver shiny foiled look to the packaging is really really cute and they all have really cute names as well like this one is feeling it my vibes rave you know she's all that motive wavy, turnt, and stunting. Most of those I have no idea what they mean because I'm getting old. But um, yeah, 
I'm gonna swatch this because I'm really excited to see what they actually look like and maybe sort of get a vibe for what I want to put on my eyes so let's have a look okay so here is the eyeshadow palette swatched there is a mixture of mattes and metallics I want to say most of them are metallic shades there's only a couple of matte shades in there but this one is feeling it then we have my vibes rave you know she's all that motive wavy turned and stunting so i have no idea what eye look i'm gonna go for today i do have work later so maybe i won't go too cray cray but yeah i have no idea what eye look i'm gonna go for so i'm just gonna quickly apply some of my revolution eye base go away helicopter so rude that you fly over now but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and apply this to get my eyes primed and ready okay so i've primed my eyes i've parted my fringe because honestly how can you apply eyeshadow with a fringe it's a bit annoying so i have no idea what look i'm gonna go for i might go for like a brown smoky eye look although i really like this shade here although it doesn't like show up very well i might try and incorporate that into that because it really reminds me of the shade that was in the kylie cosmetics eye of the storm palette which i absolutely loved so go for that i think i'm also going to apply some lip balm because my lips are super super dry today so this is just a nivea watermelon one but they're feeling super dry and they look mega cringe on the camera so okay i think i need to dive in and have a play so i might actually go for like this dark shade here which is my vibes do it all over the lid and then put like a metallic shade on top then something on the inner corner and maybe something under my lash line but maybe i should zoom you in hi and uh so you can actually see what i'm doing a bit better so yeah let's dive in Okay, so that is actually really, really pigmented. I've tried to sort of wing it out a little bit. I'm doing that quite a bit with my makeup lately, just because I, when I do my eyeshadow and I kind of do it like around my eyelid, I feel it kind of pulls my face down a little bit. So I'm trying a new thing where I'm trying to wing the eyeshadow out a bit, maybe give my face a bit of a facelift without having a facelift. So yeah, quite pigmented. There is a tiny bit of fallout like on my nose. Looks like I have a freckle. But yeah, now I need to do the other eye, try and marry it together or marry the pair. I do have to say like on the actual winged bit, it looks kind of a bit patchy on the camera. In the mirror, not so much. I'm hoping when I do all the other shades, it'll bring it together. Okay, so that's both eyes with my base shade. It is very dark. I know, I think I'm obviously going for kind of a grungy, goofy eye look. But then maybe with the other shades, it might sort of not goff out too much. <laughs> God, I wish I had like these makeup skills when I was younger, when I actually did go through my goff stage when I was a teenager because I had no clue. I wish I had photos because honestly you'd find them hilarious, but I honestly had no clue. So I'm now gonna go in with, you know, and maybe just above, just to sort of blend it out and sort of highlight my brow bone a little bit. I'm just using the same brush. Okay, so that is on. It's kind of just made it really shimmery. Um, hasn't really blended out like I expected it to. I kind of expected it to sort of blend out, although 
we must trust in the process it might all come together at the end i hope okay so i'm kind of thinking of using this one wavy it's kind of like a silvery metallic shade i'm gonna test it on my finger and see if i can apply it that way but i've got a feeling i'm gonna have to damp it down i mean it looks okay on there oh actually I don't know if it's going to need damping down, you know. Yeah, see, I don't think that needs damping down. It does look really crazy. I hope it all comes together. I'm just going to do the silver on the other eye. And now I'm just going to go back in with my first shade, which is my vibes. And I might even mix it with a bit of stumping that really dark shade just to try and darken the out corner up because it kind of looks a bit um, patchy and what I actually did just do I kind of just dipped my brush into that one that one and that one to still have like the metallic-y feel but I don't know just to try and give it like a darker blended out look because obviously that silver metallic is quite silvery I have no idea where this looks going okay because I want to add a bit of something else I might go in this one under my lash line just be different. Okay, that's kind of cool. It's kind of just lit up under my eye. I might even dab into it and just do it on the inner corner of my eye as well okay cray cray I'm now going to go and apply some mascara maybe a bit of eyeliner I'll depend how I'm feeling in a sec and maybe a bit of a tidy up because there's not a lot of fallout but there's a little bit of fallout like here and a bit here just a bit of a tidy up and then I need to apply the highlighter and the lip gloss okay so here is the finished eye look with some eyeliner and mascara I actually really like it I think it's quite a cool cool toned but still glam grungy kind of eye look I'm really really liking it yeah and zoomed out I still really like it I think it looks really really nice I'm very very happy so I guess the next thing we need to try is the highlighter I don't know if to zoom you back in or maybe a little bit okay so let's give this a go okay it's got some really pretty sheen there I haven't gone too heavy with the brush because I have work tonight and I don't want to look too crazy but that actually gives a really nice glow really like that as a highlighter I think obviously you can go a bit darker if you really really want it to I might just apply a bit more you can never have too much highlighter can you yeah I really like that nice subtle but you can give it more if you want 
I really like that and it actually goes really well with my bronzer and blush that I'm wearing today. I'm wearing my Becca Chloe and Malika one and I feel they've actually gone together really really nicely. I like that. So I guess the last thing I need to test out and try is the lip topper which I'm just going to say is a lip gloss because it looks like a gloss. I don't think I'm going to take my balm off because my lips are really dry and I know a gloss can be kind of hydrating but they are so dry at the minute so I'm just going to apply it. It's not as if my balm is coloured although it says it's a lip topper so you could technically get away with that. Okay, that is actually really pretty. You can't see, like I can see, I can really see like the gold reflective sparkles in there. I can also see a hint of pink, but not too pink. Definitely say this is more of a lip gloss. Obviously I haven't tried it on top of a lipstick. I might grab a lipstick, just swatch it on my hand and then put this over the top and see what it looks like. So I have my Roxy Times Revolution Tokyo matte liquid lip so I'm just gonna swatch it on my hand and let it dry and then see what it looks like with that on top okay it's mostly dry in the middle so let's just apply this on top so it just gives it a nice glittery sheen on top so it's not too pigmented with the pink although it looks quite pink in there I'm not gonna say it's too pink it is actually quite a nice gloss it feels silky you can't really feel the sort of glittery speckly bits in there it doesn't feel overly gritty which is nice I like that I I'm not too keen when you get like a glittery lip gloss and you can really feel the gritty glittery bits not a fan this I actually really like. It looks nice and glossy. I'm really impressed with this look today. So what are my final thoughts on the Makeup Obsession Vibing collection? I actually really like this. The eyeshadow palette, really really pigmented. I did have to build up like on the outer corner like the smoky wing vibe I was going for. But mixing these together you could actually create that and it, it wasn't patchy, it was actually really nice. So I'm really pleased with this. The metallics, stunning. You don't need to dampen them down, you can apply them with a finger or with a brush. I have like one under my lash line and obviously on my lid. They applied really, really nicely. I actually think this is a stunning palette. If you love cool toned shades and you like like a grungy, goffy style look, this is definitely a great palette. I mean, you could argue maybe these two are a bit more warm toned, but they're still kind of cool toned, even though they're the warmer shades in the palette. But I actually, I actually really like this palette. I think it's a good palette. And for the price as well, like £4.80 for this whole set, you cannot go wrong. The highlighter palette, or the highlighter shade, is actually really, really nice. I feel it gives me a nice glow but it's not too in your face obviously I could apply more and make it really in your face if I wanted to this is a really nice shade I think it will go for quite light to medium skin tones obviously if you are a deeper skin tone you could try it and maybe give it a go but you know it's gone quite well on my skin tone and I'm quite pale so maybe not a definite win for deeper skin tones but you know if you apply maybe a bit more because I went quite light with the brush maybe it would suit you or it might make a nice eyeshadow as well it's up to you the lip gloss obviously that's the last one I just tried I like this it's really really pretty it feels really nice on the lips and it, it I feel it gives like the whole look a nice finish obviously a lot of people are like if you do eyes you can't do lips so it's actually quite nice that the palette is quite pigmented and quite in your face when you apply it. So the fact that you've got quite a toned down lip gloss, I get it. I think it really works. So overall, I absolutely love the Vibing gift set from Makeup Obsession. 
and you know if you want to go and buy this I think it would be totally worth it and I'm really pleased to add all of this to my collection. So now you are probably waiting to find out the giveaway so obviously I have my box this would be whoever wins it and I'm so excited to be doing my first giveaway on my channel. So the rules are you must subscribe to my channel and like this video and comment down below the word vibing. That will give you your entry into this. Yeah, I think I will, oh, I've got fluff in my hair. I think I'm going to open it for the whole of April and then at the end of April I'm going to choose a winner and send it off. I'm also going to be posting this on my blog and on my Instagram so if you want en extra entries you can obviously go on there. I link all my social media down below. If you do comment down below for your entry to this competition please leave like a social media handle or an email address as well just so if you do win I can notify you because um, I've heard other YouTubers say it's quite hard when you do a giveaway and then you try to contact the winner but they haven't left anything and YouTube doesn't always let people know someone's commented so you might get a comment but not see it for months and by then I would have chosen another winner so please leave some way of me contacting you down below with the word vibing so if you win I can let you know so yeah good luck my first ever giveaway so excited and I'm hoping that you will love this as much as I have whoever wins this if of course you want to go and grab one of these yourself I will leave the link to revolution down below so you can go and find it because it is a great vibing set so yeah that is today's video done I hope you enjoyed it if you did please give this a thumbs up let me know down below and I will see you all in my next video so take care bye